Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, going for our Anglophile achievement. I want to thank you guys for the awesome support you showed in the first episode. It is very much appreciated. Um, seems like the first episode of every series is usually the one that gets the most traction, and then after that it falls off. So it's always nice to see um, a nice little surge in the beginning there. So thank you guys for your support. Anyways... Um, if you haven't had, if you haven't had time to do it yet, make sure you check out the discord. It's great. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> let us get back to it. So we just need to siege these down. Honestly, do, they don't have any heavies. I'll give it one more, one more, one more repair tick. Actually, can we get over here in time? We can. So let's repair in Cornwall. And let's come on up here. There you go. Get a couple of these guys. Um, I will marry you. Alrighty then. Hopefully he doesn't get hostile to me when I start, you know. He does view it as uh, important. We could probably declare... <clears throat> oh, he's not a rival? Yeah, he's a rival. Oh, because we have a truce, of course. Castile... Hmm. Very good. Wall breach over here, and then this one's just slowly ticking down. So let's just make sure that I can do this, first of all. Ooh. That's a lot. Um, hmm. So I suppose we need to be taking these dudes and start. So let's see here. Who are the major ones? The ones that I'm at least concerned about. Savoy. Um... Yes, I don't want them to join. And then, who else? What? So, he's loyal to France. Alright, very good. Okay, um... Death Martian... So, Burgundy as well. Let... Oh, they're gonna join regardless. Mm-hmm. How long do we have this um, CB for? Till 61? I really do need to get a couple of these. Um, Papal State, Burgundy, Munster, Provence would be one that I should probably try to avoid getting in there. I mean, honestly, it's a bunch of OPMs. Denmark. Hmm. <clears throat> well, let's see how many of these I can not have joined it. That, that's the one that's important. So if I wait three years, none of them, for the most part. Well, at least Dith Martian, Denmark. Okay. We're going to see where things go from here. If we could win West March, that would be nice. Very good. And, uh... Come on over here, see if we can siege all this stuff down, and then get on over to Lothian. Changed my mind, I don't want to get stack wiped. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna happen though. Or not. We just like kicked his teeth in. What's this about? Jeez. I might be able to track him down and stack wipe him. So he's probably coming up here. There we go. I don't think it's a stack white, but definitely an easy win for us. So he's probably coming down here to East March.
And up here to Perth. Looks like he's at war with, uh... Oh. Hmm. Need to be careful. Start a debate here. Let's see here. One stab, manpower, recovery speed, war exhaustion. Those are all pretty good. I think this is the one we go for. Rob the MPs. Um... Um, does this give us more than one vote? Shrewsbury, so just, just one. Oh, this one says Shrewsbury. Okay, so this one will get me two if our commandant dies. Yeah. Okay, and then let's go with Diplo support. And let us get the new commandant, right? So we're killing a lot of his men with a lot less of our men dying, which is ideal. And I think he's not going to get the... Uh... <clears throat> so let's... It, hmm. I'm not sure if very much of what we're doing up here is going to affect um, AE a whole lot. So Ulster can just be separate pieced out. Keeps on getting the uh, repair t or the uh, the extra the morale tick. So eighty five. Yeah, I don't think I can take these two guys. <clears throat> hmm. I think we sit on this war for a little bit. I'm hoping he doesn't. Um, concede to uh, Denmark. That would be unfortunate. Let's get our Plantagenet dude over here. Get a little bit of extra horse action in there. Come on, just stack wipe them. Finally. All right. There we go. Hmm. What's our first idea? Innovative, probably. So it's 64. So we got a while. Why are we losing so much money? And so Savoy is positive now. <sighs> yeah, if, if this fires, there's there's no chance I survive it. France has a pretty small army as well. Probably has a decent amount of debt. Oh my goodness. Ow. So it's all just their debts. Their debts are making them go under financially. Jeez. So I'm not going to be able to do this. Such a bummer, actually. So I suppose we'll just take these for him. These for me. Even that's a lot. So I suppose what I do, I separate piece these two dudes out. I should have taken their money, but it's whatever. That This is the move. And then I white piece him. So what is it? It's 
Probably a conquest of like Sutherland. Danish. Oh, so he's not even going to take land in this war. Very good. All right. So I think. Let me see here. When is this thing expire? December 61. So if I white piece him. So I can take war reps. So November 61. So that's the best peace deal we're going to get. And what's all this? Reinforcements mostly. Not very much force limit up here. Um, let's get these guys over here actually and get these guys back out protecting trade. Get our heavies and bring them over here to the pale. And mothball them. Just want to get positive again. We could probably go to war with him, but Savoy and Lucka would join, so. Yeah, I should have checked that through first. It's a good thing I looked, though, otherwise I wasn't going to be getting a whole lot from that war. Do we have maxed out opinion with him? No, we haven't been improving at all, for the most part. It's a good thing our queen is young, because if our monarch were to die, we're, we're about to lose that PU. And that is not what I'm interested. Alright. So let's get down here to London. Get a little more trade power. Sounds good to me. And let's turn that army down a bit. I guess we speed five it for a minute. Truce with Brittany is up. I do have permanent claims on all that. He's coring up all this. This is all cored currently. It's all the correct culture, so won't be too big of a deal. Um, I don't really want to take any loans out, so I'm going to avoid that if I can. We're going to go with, um, what do we do, tax modifier or manpower modifier? <clears throat> Thinking manpower. Maine is no longer the seat of a... Okay, that's fine. I didn't want any cardinals, so... Uh, we're finally making good money again. So long as our queen doesn't die, God save the queen. And that'll make him loyal somewhat soon, honestly. I um The fact that he's in debt is kind of good for me. So he's finally starting to pay it off, and I'll be able to pay off a little bit of it, and that'll give me a ton. So paying off debts for your vassal is a super good way of um, buying their loyalty. So, let's see here, Munster. So he's allied to like all, all these miners over here. Okay, very good. Burgundy declared war upon Provence. Let's build some more of this. I should probably upgrade that. This is already level 2, so we're doing good. As far as trade in the English Channel goes, we're uh, definitely well on our way. Let's go with uh, Galileo. So Burgundy. Do you have royal marriages with anybody important? Burgundian noble. He's not going to... I rivaled him. If Aragon would join, or not Aragon. Uh, two years, so it'll be quite a while. Well, I guess the next thing on the docket, I need to get more prestige. No, actually I think I'm okay on prestige. So what's my aggressive expansion decay? 
Okay, so three a year. That's actually really good. Let's just continue to um, wrap up what's going on in England or um, Ireland, I should say. Um, Mill, let's go with the admin points. Burgundy claiming my land is their own because they're clowns. We're not going to co-belligerent him because we don't want to have to deal with the, the bullcrap of... Um, <clears throat> fighting Scotland again. We can actually turn down maintenance. They can gain some influence. It hasn't been 20 years, right? Isn't it every 20 years? Did I forget to do this? I could have sworn I did it before. Hmm. Well, regardless, I will do it now. I will take these points, por favor. And I will spend them on that. And I will spend that on that, which will give me more income. Easy peasy, see? Can't, doesn't get much better than that. We're just speed fiving it. Honestly, the major thing is, is I'm just trying to let my uh, AE tick down. Because, like, these guys are not going to give me a ton of AE. They're, first of all, they're low dev anyways, so... Very good. So let's give these both the Thomond. Thomond. I'm not really sure how to actually pronounce that. And 20 AE, but not with anybody I'm concerned about. Take all the money. Let's get you guys over here. He sold the fort. No, he didn't. He just turned it off. We're good. All right. So we're good. December 61. So wait a minute. Didn't this say that this expires December 61? Until December 61. I might have miscalculated. I hope not. Is this going to be worth waiting on? I don't think so. Let's just do it. And uh, we're doing innovative. I love me some innovative ideas. France is almost loyal, which is super nice. Matter of fact, I can make them loyal. Their debt is going down. Let's just keep on bolstering our... our, um... our economy. Um... That's a crap event. I hate that event. All right, so let's get these guys down here in Calais. French noble rebels. Very fun. I love losing money. Losing manpower. Having all my men fight. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to unmothball these guys. See if we can get them down to Calais by the end of the month. Yep, very good. Mm, there we go. Hopefully we don't have too much unrest over here. Doesn't look like it. So let's get these guys over here as well. Losing a repair tick there. It's no big deal though. Alright, so let's turn our army maintenance back on. Get these guys over here. We don't have full maintenance, but it's fine. There we go. And now we just wait. Oh, he's loyal, actually. He allied Mecklenburg. Conquest, even. I suppose we should do Conquest if we have the choice. This is not 
empire lands, but this these are. So I if I take these, I have to take them myself. Though I kind of wish... Maybe I shouldn't give him any land. Though it would save me admin. I do have an admin idea right now. Maybe I just humiliate. Speed four. Um, let's actually see. So his debt's pretty bad, but it's not horrible. See if we could beat up on their navy. Looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna flee because I want to. I actually didn't flee into the port, did I? I did. Okay. Don't have a admiral in charge. Okay. So let's see here if I can get a couple of ships picked off here and there, and if we can get a blockade over here. Is this blockaded? <clears throat> See if we can join these guys up over here. Hmm. Getting sieged down in France. I don't know if that's necessarily a big deal. Shoot, I didn't even think about this. So we're gonna have to see. If it stays until December, then we declare war on the 1st of December and I just send part of my men up here. This is an ill-advised war. Okay. I really hope it lasts through December. That would be really nice. Ah, oh, we did, we lost it. Miscalculation, shouldn't have taken the money. Bummer. Oh well. It happens. Okay, um... Let's get this guy... We need to get this siege taken care of. Just don't want to lose Paris if we can avoid it. So he's taking this like... Ah, uh, toi? Are... Oi... Rai? I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. French is tough. I really hope he doesn't take Paris. That would be bad. There we go. And we're gonna make it in time. Very good. This is should be an easy fight for us. Yes. Very good. And he's probably coming up here. Let's just get these guys up here. Get a stack wipe on Brabant's army. Very nice. Okay. Um, morale of army sounds good to me. And now we just siege all this stuff down. Oh, goodness gracious. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? See if we can get a stack wipe. Yes, very good. All right, well, this war is over. He's carpet sieging. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Ah, I'm disappointed about that subjugation CB, though. That's a strong CB. Good excuse to take a lot of land for very little, but it's okay. Man, Francis. Getting full siege very quickly. Oh, this is technically... Antwerpen is technically a coastal province, I believe. <clears throat> Actually, it definitely is. Very good. Uh, well, in that case, let's speed this up a bit. They won Labor, jeez. How does that happen? Maybe take Dijonet, beating around the bush. 
I actually don't think I can get there with all these forts. Make a strange zone of control. Where did all those men come from? Just get these guys spread out over here real quick. Siege down a couple more provinces. While he's over here tweaking out. Hmm. If he could win that one back, that'd be good. Flanders is low. He's full occupied now. Just need to make sure that we can siege down um, Brabant, or I mean Antwerpen, and then get down here and siege down Dijonet. Uh Advisor costs for clergy loyalty. I mean, we'll just buy the clergy loyalty, so that's fine. Let's ask for contributions from you. That way we can build a couple more trade ports. Very good. All right, so let's get down here and see if we can get a couple of stack wipes sorted out here. Okay, stack wipe for you. Very good. Um, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this, so let's get a get this stack over here. Hopefully, his war exhaustion isn't going up too much. Looks like we're in a battle over here. It should be a stack wipe for us. Very good. Okay, I'm not sure what that Alsace army is doing there. All right, very good. Now we're just waiting it out. Friedrich, Ladislas. Very good. Royal marry you, please. If I could get a von Habsburg on my throne, that would be nice. Okay, this has been an easy war. I mean, France is like full occupied, but I'm not. And that's the whole point of having vassals, I believe. So, so we're just going to speed for it until we can get there. <clears throat> He's going to take down Luxembourg. I'm going to take down Barrois and French Comte. And uh, then we're going to take down Dijonet. While they, you know... Get all flustered about these forts over here. Easy peasy. We can get some uh, admin tech pretty far ahead of time too. Ooh. Level three, I think I'll just take the points. I don't think I can really afford the level three guy currently even if he is half off. All right. We are taking a lot of attrition here. We should probably get these guys off so we're not bleeding up so much manpower. Okay, very good. Now we're on their capital. Honestly, I think I just want to show strength. It's a super strong early on especially because it gives you so much extra uh, Monarch, 300 Monarch points just for beating up somebody in a war. I mean, admittedly, you want to do it on smaller guys, like Burgundy's a little big for it, but it's all good. Land maintenance modifier, culture conversion, sailor. Let's go with this one. Placate clergy, mill support, navy commissions, ignore corruption. Easy peasy. Ideally, I can win this one. I win this siege, get over here and wipe these guys out before they get that one. I wait another year so I don't have to pay that penalty. How close are we to getting this in London? Not very. Maybe I can even spend a couple of points in London to do to get it. Let's um spend some points. Hmm. 
There we go. We'll be able to embrace it and then we'll do that. Oh, let's get you guys joined up over here. Hopefully he doesn't win that 14%, but he does because he's the computer and they always do, of course. Oh, we lost our guy. Feels bad, man. Is that a river crossing? It is. It is not. All right, cool. Uh, it says it is. No, it's not. We're good. So I'm not sure. I may not actually be able to do this peace deal because of all this land that they have occupied down here. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Though, that's not true, actually. Because once I take his capital, my war score is going to shoot up by, like, a ton. So we'll probably be okay. Those reinforcements are expensive. Let's just finish this up. Come on. If we win this, we might be able to peace out. Okay. Not quite. Just have to win back a couple of sieges here. Uh, let's come up here and see if we can siege down Brabant. Let's also get you guys back collecting or protecting trade get you guys continuing the blockade and win these sieges <clears throat> yeah that war exhaustion is pretty juicy noble rebels huh that's no fun he broke his siege over here. Y'all, you love to see that. Breaking a siege when you're at, like, an incredible amount of war score, or incredible amount of progression towards it. Okay, very good. Let's come down here. Stack wipe you. Come over here. Get all this stuff taken back. And, um, should be coming soon. Very good. Call for peace, but we're just gonna wait until we can get that peace deal we're looking for. Should be here soon. One more month, I'm assuming. There we go. Extra bit of uh, <clears throat> monarch points. That's fine. Now we're going to have to group up and go take out these rebels for him. They're both on... Oh, he wants to beat up on those ones. Is that a good call? It is a good call. We're good. Let's kill you guys and get you up there. And then let's get you guys down here. And get you mothballed. Get you guys over here. Um, Could go to war with Scotland now. He has no allies. And we have claims on all of his land, so... I think that's probably what we're going to be doing here. So after we fight this battle, we're going to turn our... Turn our, um... Oh my, what? Dude, are you kidding me? That is so bogus. So bogus. We just lost so much manpower. That was literally all of our manpower. Just because those rebels decided all of a sudden that they weren't going to take damage anymore. You love it. Love it. Luckily we got mercs in our army, so. Matter of fact, I don't think I actually got... Oh, I did get that. Levy the troops. So, conquer Ireland, and that will give us local goods produced for 15 years. Very good. This one is... We just got to wait it out. And this one we need 40 ports, and we have how many? Does it not tell us? <clears throat> oh, hold on. What was this one? Oh, in Bordeaux. Don't really care about Bordeaux. Um, so we're steering from Lubeck. Maybe it would be in my best interest to steer from here instead. Let's check it out. 15, 9, 3. 16, yeah. I don't understand how I'm 
32 ducats a month. And that's a, that's a lot of ducats a month. Just so you guys know. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but... Alright, cool. That'll do it for this one. Jeez. Uh, if you guys are excited for this series and you are enjoying it, please show your support and leave a like on the video. And if you want to subscribe to see more, that's the best way to do it. Make sure you check out the Discord and follow me on Twitter. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.